good good afternoon uh, i'm sidesh raut and i'm rupali pankti and good. today we we will be discussing about the manipur elections of 2017 and recently on march 4th and 5th we had the phase one of the elections the total number of constituencies that are being contested for us 60 and uh, 38 have already been done with almost 82% uh, turnout yeah uh, phase two is uh, something that we're looking forward to that's going to be starting on march 8th and uh, it's going to be uh, uh, it could be anyone's game for all as we know and uh, the most exciting constituency here to look at is the thuval constituency where uh, we have the prime, uh, the uh, the chief minister for the past 15 uh, years who of uh, congress who is ibobi singh uh, contending with irom sharmila uh, of uh, the people's uh, resurgence of justice alliance party and uh, it uh, it has been a considerable voter turnout of 85% as compared to last year uh, last elections of 2012 uh, the issues Uh, so we have uh, a lot of developments that have taken place before uh, the beginning of the campaigning and the overall elections up to phase one. Uh, the main thing is uh, the November blockade of uh, last year and uh, the the tussle between the BJP and the Congress. Uh, Irom Sharmila and her role after uh, breaking her 16-year uh, long fast for the repeal of the Armed Forces uh, Special Powers Act. and uh, also keeping in mind with the economic blockade that uh, bifurcation had happened and that they felt that it was infringing on the rights of the tribals we also have the low women participation in during the civic polls where at that point of time the again the tribals felt that they were infringing upon their customs where women did not have much representation in the public space so again keeping those two in mind uh, there has there has been a considerable low women representations previously also in the elect, uh, in the during the elections uh then again uh, one of the uh, things that we will be pointing out are are the youth which is almost like 7 lakh who are educated yet they have been unemployed so let's have a look at them one by one uh would you like to run us through this yeah so uh, in 2012 bjp almost had as you can see over here during the opinion polls like almost no uh, uh, say during the elections whereas if we see the opinion polls for 2017 there are the seat shares almost 31 to 35 and the vote shares almost 40% which is a almost double of what congress w- is expected to have uh, which is almost the double of congress and uh, it puts the incumbency of the present chief minister at uh, stake and uh, yeah um so as you can see through this represented graph here looking at opinion polls that have been conducted uh, late february uh, this is considering around 1000 th- people sample size uh, over all covering all districts and you can see that it's anyone's game uh just when uh, bjp was nowhere to be seen uh, in the manipur elections of 2012 now you can see that um it's been uh, three terms that the inc has been uh, taking affair charge of the affairs of the state and now uh it it feels like uh, opinion popular opinion says that congress uh, congress seat should not uh, take up the chief ministerial uh, position but uh they are also not quite sure as to who should be taking up this role yeah and so on march 8 from the thobal constituency we would be having a bobi singh and iram sharmila iram sharmila has been an activist with regarding to the afspa issue and with a bobi again the economic blockade is a major controversy where he can be pulled down and according to certain uh, political experts even though afspa is an issue uh, econo- economic blockade has taken a huge leap especially at this point of time when manipur elections is like just going on so probably people uh, according to uh, political experts her views are again very pragmatic but then again uh, probably as an uh, we have we've had aap in delhi and maybe we can see iram sharmila coming up as as an emerging uh 
figure who can probably change the s uh, scenario in uh, a lot of developments uh, around the way she's been carrying out her campaign uh, we see that she's not uh, taking the regular route uh, her uh, party is all about going uh, campaigning on a door to door basis the fact that uh, 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 she is she's on a cycle and you know going on door to door is like become it an iconic picture. talks about you know like yeah. the corruption part, part because it, yes. in uh, Manipur has been known for a lot of corruption, corruption. and this her entire agenda how she's also uh, garnering funds for her party it talks about like how she's not really into corruption <laughs> and how maybe there yeah, is a ch change in the right. scene uh, then again, when when we uh, talk to people on the on the street uh, on field, we see that there are two uh, major contending issues. One is the fact that she is a new face; she's been uh, been a political activist, and uh, the corruption and everything aside. Uh, but then again, uh, there is also the fact that the public who was uh, with her about repealing AFSPA is still a little disillusioned about the fact that she's given up a 16-year uh, long fast. And uh, so it still stands to show where she, whether she might or may or may not uh, overthrow the uh, chief minister on this front. Uh, so uh, this is also uh, the time when uh, the Congress had uh, bifurcated uh, uh, the current districts of Manipur to come up with seven new different districts, and uh, in uh, in uh, in retaliation to that, the United Naga Council had uh, created an economic blockade uh, across the state and uh, this has caused a lot of disturbance in terms of uh, basic supplies reaching the people on uh, in Manipur. Uh, stories about petrol being 250 rupees to a liter and, uh, and people still managing. Uh, BJP is taking this uh, downfall of Congress and is selling petrol and uh, oh. giving it to them again right. so as a form of uh, you know uh, garnering more votes and showing that probably BJP is on a more development side mm -hmm. of what has and northeast politics has usually been on the sideline it has never emerged right. so this probably is a way for uh, for BJP to garner more votes during Assam ele elections they took a lot of regional <coughs> parties under their uh, ages and then uh, they won so probably we can see that suddenly the focus is on Assam in on Manipur. Manipur. So um, as you can see here, what has been uh, created, uh, what has been created has been a lot of districts with uh, uh, with the backing that this will help in more be uh, in better administration. Uh, but according to a uh, memorandum of understanding between the Naga <laughs> people and uh, the government of India. Uh, which stated that uh, any uh, tampering of uh, Naga uh, defined boundaries is not to be tolerated. Uh, this uh, this blockade is just a direct retaliation based on that uh, MOU in uh, 1994, and people feel uh, the Naga people in general feel that their uh, basic their <coughs> frontiers have been violated. Uh, then again, when we have uh, when women representation in during the elections, like there's a huge gap between where there are like 264 male contestants during 2012, females is barely, it's, it's like barely 50. It shows a lot of a difference between uh, the gender gap when it comes to representation, uh, if we see at a more uh, bigger level when it comes to India. And uh, this can again be also related to the kind of uh, uh, gender inequality that also happens when it comes to civic boards where women even though they have the rights the they don't the people uh, the tribes are not allowing them to take thinking that will take infringe upon their rights uh, on their customs so uh, correct me if I'm wrong but isn't this like a stark contrast to uh, how the tribal people themselves live on a cultural front where they have been given a, uh, where females and males are on a more equal footing Mm -hmm. and uh, on the social level is, uh, so there is a, there is a bit of a contrast in that sense of the political standing I feel uh, about uh, females not getting enough representation uh, and not having much of a say like uh, women do have 33 percent reservation on a larger scale mm -hmm. but uh, when it comes to Manipur like uh, especially with the tribes, tribes. so again mm -hmm. it's about uh, their rules and Custom, so they feel that probably again people are taking their rights, and even though women are also, they have the Nagami's mothers uh, uh, 
can not that is again nagaland but somewhere down the line because even in nagaland some of the tribes are there so probably tribes and customs can be uh, a point point to be looked at so uh one more thing that we would really like to bring up on is one issue that has been sidelined about 7 lakh educated youth still being unemployed in the state and uh, in these controversies uh, which have been uh, hot topics to be debated on during the election campaigns this is one major uh, thing that has been sidelined and uh, uh, it is still uh, anyone's game when it comes to these elections of 2017 uh voter turnouts are high and uh, perhaps uh, only time will tell as to the final election